Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm Adam. Um, I like to do theme parks, theme park videos, the events going on, uh, stuff around Central Florida area, and anything dealing with travel. So uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. It's a hot one out today. It's Sunday. Um, I'm going to come out here at Universal. I've already done all the updates that you can do, so we're just waiting for the event to start, Halloween Horror Nights. But I think I want to do like a first-timers video, give you some tips, tricks, hints, you know, just stuff to know before you come out here, you know, stuff that'll help you out, um, stuff that I wish I knew before I came out. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and keep watching. We got some good stuff ahead of us in this video. So one of the first things I want to talk about is parking. Um, you will pay for parking out at uh, Horror Nights. It's a special event. It's not going to be free parking like after 6 o'clock at night like it normally is on a normal night. Um, unless you have like an annual pass. And even then with an annual pass, like I have the Premier Pass so I get prime parking for free but I've come before and the parking's all booked up so I just got to park in normal parking. Valet parking is not going to work either. Uh, that is charged up that night too. So if you are staying at a resort, take the resort transportation whether it be the boat or bus or possibly an Uber. That might be your best bet. If you haven't bought your Horror Nights ticket or even a pass to go into the park, uh, out here at Guest Services which are located right beyond these archways here on both sides is where you'll be able to get uh, your Horror Night tickets and also your Day Pass tickets. So, awesome. Now, one thing to let you know is, let's say you don't have a pass to the park, right? So you don't have a pass to come in, but you want to get in here early. They have like a stay, scream early ticket that runs about $35. I believe that's the price. If not, you can look on their website. But you can get that where you can actually come into the park around 3 o'clock, enjoy it, and then stay at one of the same scream areas uh, so you can get a head start on the event. But anyways, that's like the first tip. Tickets, you know. They range in price, so you'll find the prices out on the website. Another thing to note is that you are going to want to stay nice and cool out here. It is still warm because we are in... August, September, and here in Florida, it is very hot still. So, you know, you want to dress accordingly, you know, uh, shorts, shirt, wear very comfortable shoes because you will not be sitting that much. You are actually going to be walking around a lot and standing in line. So that's another thing. Wear comfy shoes, wear nice, cool clothes. I mean, you know, your mileage may vary. Wear whatever you feel comfortable in. So that's what you want to do. But that is definitely something that you want to do out here because it's going to be very, very warm. But anyways, you also want to bring a bag with you. I mean, I'll just kind of go over the basic stuff. I put in my bag, uh, umbrella. I bring some water bottles, you know, maybe some Gatorade. Also, like a little medicine pack, you know, with some aspirin, band-aids, deodorant, you know, whatever you may need while you're out here, because it's always best to be safe. But, uh, you know, you definitely want to do something like that because you do not want to be out here and get caught in the rain, because I've been caught in the rain before and it ruined my whole night. But anyways, uh, I'll do another video some other day about what to actually pack in your bag. And you definitely want to bring some money with you or your credit card because there is a lot of merchandise to get that's only available for Halloween Horror Nights and a lot of this stuff is limited. So, I mean, once it's sold, it's gone. There's not, no getting any more. Like, uh, plan on about $30 plus tax for a shirt. And, you know, there, there's just a lot of stuff to choose from. You can get shirts, hoodies, glasses, um, lanyards, 
shot glasses, ornaments. So, I mean, there, there's a plethora of stuff out here. So merchandise is definitely another thing you want to get. Oh, this is a cool hoodie. And it's way too heavy for me. $90. Okay. All right. Awesome. Let's continue. Make sure, make sure to bring a fully charged camera, phone, whatever you take pictures or videos with, because you'll definitely have plenty of opportunities to do that. Uh, a lot of uh, photo ops. Uh, you know, you want to document what you've been doing, you know, or take photos that last forever, you know. So that's something you definitely want to do is make sure you have plenty of juice for your phone and your camera. And if you are planning on actually staying all the entire time for the event, then I would probably bring like an external battery for your camera, phone, whatever. So definitely. And if you find an empty bench, have a seat. You're really going to need it. Oh, that's cool. 31 for HHN 31. Awesome. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, have a seat because, uh, I mean, not like right now because you're out in the sun, but, you know, at night, if it's empty, have a seat. Take a load off because you will be doing a lot of walking. Right here at the Tribute Store, which is right across from Jimmy Fallon. This is where you're going to do the bulk of your shopping. So, you know, head on in here. Spend some of that hard-earned money. You're on vacation. It's it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Well, not really once-in-a-lifetime thing. But definitely come on in here. Do some shopping. Get some stuff done. And then also you will be able to... Uh, buy some nice little treats that they have in here too so uh i'll spend a few bucks in here and in addition with that you know i also pack a few snacks with me because i don't want to spend a whole lot of money while i'm out here and wow look at all those little bugs okay anyways back to the video yeah so that's what you definitely want to do and actually in addition to the houses and the scare zones and the few shows that are going to be going on you will have the opportunity to get on some of the rides that are open i know for a fact this ride will be open well i don't know it's, show it's closed right now but it probably will be open when horror night starts the mummy it's a great ride nice little indoor roller coaster and awesome let's keep going and you will have multiple food booths and places to get adult beverages and other beverages, normal beverages as far as like soda, water, to purchase while you're here at the event. So make sure you do uh, plan a few extra bucks so you can get something to eat. Everybody likes doing that. I mean, come on. It's a theme park. Let's support our theme parks and the events going on. I mean, yeah, and like I said, I do pack a few snacks in my little bag too, you know, as far as like chips, crackers, cookies, that sort of thing. Just something to munch on while I'm in line because you will expend a lot of energy. You wouldn't think so just standing around and walking, but you actually do. So I'll keep your energy up so you can last the whole night while you're out here. But uh, yeah, definitely enjoy some of the food that's going to be out here. Another thing I'll recommend is if you are uncomfortable around a lot of people, there are a lot of people at this event, so bring a mask because you will be in line and they'll want you to get real close to one another and people will get right on your tail. So make sure you bring a mask just to be safe. I always bring a mask, so you know if someone gets too close or someone's coughing or sneezing a lot, and I understand, you can't control that. Um, at least you can control it on your end and be safe for yourself. So bring a mask, put it in your pocket, put it in your bag. You'll never even know it's there. And trust me, you probably will use it. So right out here in Music Plaza, they will actually have a house located back over there. Now, unfortunately, it's not just a straight shot out there. So this is what's going to happen. They're going to have these uh, cattle gates, fences, lined up through this entire area. Okay? So with that happening, you're going to get about... I'd say four to five rows that will go back and forth all the way down there to all the way down there. That's a lot of walking. So you may see a house that says there's a 20 minute wait, 15 minute wait. That's actually your walk that you're going to be doing. 
because there actually probably won't even be a weight. But just be prepared, you will walk a lot. I mean, you will probably double to triple what you normally walk during a day at a at a normal theme park. So just be prepared. I mean, I like it because it's kind of good exercise. I come after work on Wednesdays and Thursdays during that time and then I also come Sunday night I get the frequent fear pass I don't get the express I mean you pay up for the express I, I was thinking about it but this is not really the year I want to do it I want to do it when there's something that I'm actually really wanting to go and I come so often I'm able to see everything multiple times so it's a good exercise I like it but anyways be prepared now out in city walk here these the restaurants will be open along with the shops so if you want to sit down and have a nice little uh, sit down meal an actual meal uh, it's a great place to come MEC grill and brew all these places are gonna be open so head on out here and grab a meal to eat instead of a snack so there you go so that's gonna be it for the video I'm really looking forward to Halloween Horror Nights um, I enjoy making these videos they're a lot of fun uh, Anyways, be sure to subscribe if you watched it this far. If you haven't, oh well. You know, I'm going to keep making videos. Anyways, have a good one, people. Peace.